Hello, I'm Aya Taishi at Ocean Mizu University. In this presentation, I will talk about electrolysis bubble display based on two installations. Water is indispensable to human life and riches of the environment. From ancient times, people have enjoyed watching the scenery of the water flowing in rivers and reflected on the surface of plants. Bubbles floating on the water surface also attract us. As Kamono Chomei mentioned in Hojoki, Flowing water and floating bubbles have been metaphors for impermanence in literature and other art. Focusing on such ephemerality of bubbles, a leaky surface display using bubbles has been proposed. This is the bubble that I presented last year. It's a leaky surface display using bubbles generated by electrolysis at pixels, and it can dynamically display a 10 by 10 dot matrix pattern on the surface of beverages. In this previous research, the proposed method was mainly intended to be used as an information display for daily use. Based on these backgrounds, we intuitively assume that the ephemerality of the bubbles hold potential as a method for dynamic artwork. However, simply using the conventional electrolytic bubble display does not allow for rich expressions due to its performance. In this research, we address challenges that conventional electrolysis bubble display had and present two novel artworks using this electrolysis bubble display mechanism. Here are the two technical challenges of previous debates that we addressed in this research. In the conventional electrolysis bubble display, the pixels of bubble clusters required more than 60 seconds to disappear spontaneously, whereas they were generated in about 2 seconds. This resulted in a slow refresh rate of the display. Consequently, the display contents were difficult to animate or scroll. Also, only a binary display of 100 pixels was realized, which limited the information that could be displayed. To improve the first challenge of slow refresh rate, we propose Utakata. Utakata overcomes this drawback using a water channel and realizes a chicken like bubble display. Several electrodes are placed linearly on the channel bed, and they generate text messages using bubble dots that drift towards the lower end of the channel. Besides, to improve the second challenge of door resolution and binary display, we proposed Bubble Mirror. Bubble Mirror is a water pump with a camera that captures a visitor's face and displays it using grayscale pixels bubble clusters generated from the electrolysis. The facial image is displayed on the water surface when the visitor looks inside the water pan. I will now explain the implementation of the proposed device. First is Utagata. Utagata is a ticker like bubble display using a running water channel. As shown in these videos, Utagata can display any alphanumeric characters and symbols with 7 vertical pixels. Here is an overview of the device and the water circuit. Now, inner box was placed in a larger outer box. Then, a shallow water channel for the display was placed in the inner box. To generate the water flow in the inner box, water is supplied in the buffer reservoir of the inner box and drained out from the outlet. We used a water pump to supply water, and we placed a sponge between the buffer and the water channel to mitigate possible turbulence caused by the pumping mechanism. Water is drained through a well with slits installed. Now, the main technical challenge we addressed in implementing Butakata was to display bubble pixels on the flowing water with a small amount of distortion, such that characters comprised of the pixels were readable. We were able to address this challenge by designing the device, liquid, and actuals appropriately. I will now explain each consideration. First is the design of the device. We use the shallow water channel to display. For a simple wear structure, only the flow near the water surface spills over the wear, whereas the flow involves a deeper part of the water at the upstream. Consequently, the water flow accelerates as it moves downstream, resulting in a distorted bubble display. Therefore, to isolate the surface flow so that it does not affect the deeper water, the bed of the channel was raised to the same height as the wear by pressing a table. The second is the design of the liquid. To further reduce the character distortion caused by the accelerated flow, a signal was added to the liquid. 
However, this left a trail of bubbles behind the characters, which reduced the display quality. We think this is because bubbles stick to their toes as the viscosity increases, and after the current is stopped, the attached bubbles gradually rise to the water surface. Therefore, we try to make the header for the bubbles to stick to the electrodes. Specifically, we waterproofed the size of the electrode pins so that only the tops of the pins were in contact with the liquid to prevent the bubbles from sticking. With these three efforts, a bubble display with reduced distortion was realized. Here are the electrodes and liquid required for electrolysis. Only the cathode is used for the display electrode, and 7 pin header bars were pressed linearly. The anode is common, and a copper plate was used. As the electrolytic solution, we used instant coffee added with sodium bicarbonate and thickener. Here's the circuit of Takata. Basically, the display is realized by grinding an arbitrary electrode by switching with MOS FETs. First, 7 pixel electrodes were connected to an Arduino by a MOS FET. When the Arduino activates several MOS FETs, the corresponding pixel electrodes were connected to the ground. Subsequently, the electrodes functioned as cathodes for electrolysis, and hydrogen was generated from the electrodes. Next, I will explain the implementation of bubble mirror. Bubble mirror displays a facial image on the water surface when the person looks into the system. In bubble mirror, we address several technical challenges, such as the publication of a display with over 1,000 pixel bubbles and the appropriate electrode control for grayscale imaging. As for the system configuration, the system is comprised of a water fan with an Arduino, a foot switch, a USB camera, and a PC running processing program. The water pan is filled with water darkened with instant coffee powder. As for the user experience, firstly, when a visitor stands in front of the system, the foot switch detects it. Next, when a visitor looks into the pan, the camera captures the visitor's face and displays it as a picture of bubbles on the water surface. We place the electrodes at the bottom of the water pan. The electrodes for fixed display are only cathodes and are arranged in a 32 by 32 matrix. The anode is common and placed around the cathodes. As the electrolytic solution, we used instant coffee added with sodium bicarbonate and cornstarch. We used the asking matrix method for the matrix circuit. With the control from Arduino, several arbitrary pixel electrodes were grounded and functioned as the cathodes, resulting in generating hydrogen bubbles. Furthermore, pixel electrodes underwent pulse density modulation by the Arduino to provide a grayscale display. For a detailed explanation of PDM, please refer to your paper. In short, for a pixel assigned to level N of the grayscale, the program activates the corresponding electrode N times during one refresh cycle. As shown in last figure, seven scans are required to draw one screen, and the number of energy duration time is unified to the grayscale level value. The right picture shows the actual bubble pixels at each grayscale level. I briefly explain face image processing. First, the PC detects a face via the camera. We normalize the pixel values of the detected face image and assign 8 levels of grayscale values to it. The generated image data of 8 grayscale is then sent to the Arduino, which adjusts the PDM accordingly and energizes each electrode to realize a grayscale bubble display. Finally, I will report on some discussions. We used the coffee as the electrolytic solution in both Utakata and Bubble Mirror. This is because that the coffee can keep fine bubble crusts for a long duration. Milk and fruit juices can also be used, but we used coffee because it is the least expensive and can be displayed most stably. We tried other liquids such as constant solution, but they generate an unstable cluster of rough bubbles as shown in the video. The characteristics of the bubbles display as shown in the following table. Utakata can display 7 pixels vertically and about 30 pixels horizontally. Bubble Mirror can display 32 by 32 pixels with 8 levels of grayscales. In Utakata, 
The pixel extruders were pressed in a single row with 7.6 mm intervals, resulting in the vertical pixel resolution of approximately 3 dpi. In bubble mirror, the interval between the pixels was 5.1 mm vertically and horizontally, and the display resolution was 5 dpi. Fractified, that is, the time until the bubbles appeared was about 1 second for Takata and about 4 seconds for bubble mirror. White to black, that is, the time until the bubbles spontaneously disappeared was more than 60 seconds for bubble mirror. Since Utakata uses a thicker light bubble flow, it can realize that this break with a high response time. That's all for my presentation. For more detailed information, please go through our paper. Thank you for watching.